I know everybody can Google pretty much anything now, but I just want to give a quick little rundown um, for anybody who has IBD, uh, colon cancer, diverticulitis, bowel issues. Mainly, this is a little GI piece pertaining to the different types of tests. Kind of heads up, watch out for different things, what stuff means, just a quick little overview. So for my IBD and GI patients of any nature, a CT is much quicker to do you are on the table for less time. However, it involves radiation and risk of radiation. So you wanna be careful if you've had an excess of exposure and obviously anytime your body is exposed to a large dose of radiation in something like a CT, you put yourself at risk factors of complications thereof. An MRI has no radiation, it's done all with magnets. So it's a lot less invasive and damaging to your body because you're not experiencing radiation. However, it takes a long time, like I'm talking hours. And in both a CT and an MRI, you really wanna make sure you lay completely still. An MRI, even more so than a CT. A CT, you just gotta hang in and hold your breath for a couple seconds. An MRI, you hold your breath till you almost pass out, you let it out, you do it again. You hold your breath till you almost pass out again, and then you let out and do it again. And there's not much breaks in between, so get them lungs, use your incentive spirometer, and don't say I didn't tell you. But with an MRI, if you even just wiggle or twitch, it can throw off the whole image to where it's not viewable, it's invalid, or they actually make you stay longer or come back to do it all over again. So go to the bathroom before, think pretty thoughts in your head, don't wiggle if you're getting an MRI. Trust me, you'll thank me, just get it over with. Um, second of all, with a CT, you do wanna close your eyes or make sure you're not looking directly at the laser beam because it can be damaging to your eyes. Both of the machines are gonna have a friendly little computerized voice, kind of like Siri. It'll say everything you need to do. Take a breath, hold it, let it out. Okay, you can breathe. So just follow the prompts. There's not much to do there. IV contrast. If you are getting injected with IV contrast, you can get a metallic taste in your mouth, you can get a warm feeling or butterflies in your stomach, and you can also have the sensation that you have to pee or are peeing yourself, but you're not, and you won't. And that is all normal and expected, so don't freak out. It just, it is, and as fast as it comes on, it goes away, so nothing to worry about there. A couple other things with IBD or intestines. If you are having a interrography of the small bowel, which is a more defined tuned study of what's going on in the small intestine and someone like me who doesn't have a colon, that's all I got, they will give you a substance that they inject into you halfway through the imaging called glucagon. Glucagon is a natural hormone made by the body. However, when they give it to you in a large dose as they do with the injection, it can actually stop your bowels for just a moment. So in regards to getting a really good look and in regards to seeing a really clear picture, that's a great thing. However, paralyzing someone's bowels with cyclic vomiting syndrome, with gastroparesis, heads up, They've told me they've heard people vomit on the table, like stories that people vomit on the table. I don't vomit on the table, I try to be a lady, but sometimes I vomit in the car and then I definitely vomit on my way home. And just like contrast, it feels ugh. So if you get glucagon, be prepared you might get nauseous, plan babysitters, plan for help, have somebody drive you home, glucagon makes you feel ugh. Okay, what else, what else? Oh, contrast, I explained this in the beginning of the video, but I was not feeling well and I don't know how soundable, whatever the word is, I'm tired, sorry, I can't even make up words right now. Um, how my voice sounded, I should say, that if you drink the clear one, it's a bitter solution that tastes like chemicals. I call them both puke in a cup because they're both disgusting and I hate them both and I've had to force feed myself to drink them far too many times for my lifetime and probably will again very soon. Yeah. But you get used to it. And as we tell our children, whining about it doesn't make it go faster. You gotta eat your vegetables if you want your dessert. Well, you gotta chug your contrast if you don't wanna die and you need test results. So, sorry to be frank, but that is how it is. So, hang in, I hate it too. That's why I shared my video about it because it sucks. And sometimes it's okay to just say, it sucks, it's nasty, I hate it, but you know what? You still gotta do it. So, the other kind is a thicker one that's just chalky, nasty, and I am sorry, my darlings, it's disgusting. Some people don't even give it to you on ice, so like warm chemical nastiness that makes you wanna die and throw up, it's not fun. So again, if you have a loved one who's doing that, just be sympathetic, bring a uh, barf bag if you need one, okay?